Go. Hello. So, before you watch this video, I would just like to apologize in advance for everything that I said. Um, th this video does not represent my views. I mean, or Grace's, but I said things far worse than Grace, and I am so very sorry. But I was just trying to accurately portray Adolf Hitler and his anti-Jew views, and I said some bad things, and I'm sorry. I hope no one's Jewish in this class. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy the video! I get on life as a dictator. I'm a brutal kind of person. I'll kill you if you're a traitor. I'm sending people to the gulags on Sundays and killing off my political opponents so they don't take over someday. I like to contemplate propaganda so it seems, but when I start to daydream, my mind turns to straight to my five-year plans. Sometimes I look at myself, I look into my eyes, I notice the way I think about my propaganda with a smile. Curved lips I can't disguise, cause it's propaganda making my life worthwhile. It's making me seem like an all-knowing leader, cause I'm turning my people into readers. People who can only read my pre-approved books, so I don't get any dirty looks. I'm making it seem like it was just me and Lenin against the world. It's alright, my children. Daddy Stalin is here to make things alright. I won't be Tsar Nicholas III. Just look at the posters and statues of me that everyone can see. Manipulation is what I do, so if you want to complain, join the queue. Or join my cult of personality and follow my rationality, because I won't stand for any neutrality. I ask my people to make sacrifices, because they don't have the money to pay for spices. Don't, with, don't mess with me or my secret police, because they aren't going to make peace. And if I don't like what you do, then I'll send you to the gulags, where there won't be an epilogue for you. I am Balm Lenin. Contradict me and I'll start an Armageddon. I'll tell people I'm just as important as Lenin was, and children believe it more than Santa Claus. Sometimes I look at myself, I look into my eyes, I notice the way I think about my five-year plans with a smile, curved lip that I can't disguise because it's also my five-year plans making my life worthwhile. My, gover my government controls our business, and you better not be religious because we don't have time for Father Christmas. We're boosting a Soviet industry, and if you're not working diligently, then you won't get any empathy. There are goals that need to be achieved, and no, you won't be getting sick leave or else you'll see what's up my sleeve. We're turning this country around on agriculture all crack down and industry will all drown. These plans are, will be a booming success. Just ignore this whole flaming farmer mess. There are always sacrifices in a game of chess. We're improving our communication, building railways and their stations to prove we're better than those other nations. <laughs> oh, oh shit, World War II is getting close. Jews are what the Germans hate most. We'll make military goods they propose or else we'll all fall down like dominoes. I go about as an authoritarian dictator. I guess I'm a mean person, and I'll see you later. I burn Jews on Sundays. That sounds bleak! Hey, did I ask you for your critique? Just watch what I do for the other days. Go on, take a peek. You'll see that I dictate over Germany during the week. I'm dictating what my people see, and what my people see is me. They see me through my propaganda. My name is Adolf, not Amanda. What about art school? What about art school? I may have failed it, but I'm no fool. As for you, you're just a tool. I created the Reich Ministry of Public Enlightenment and Propaganda to make sure that my message is spread. All Jews need to be dead. I know it's kind of harsh, but they're taking our bread. They're taking the jobs that we need to survive. They really won't live to see 25. My name is Adolf Hitler. If you wanna, if you wanna, you could say I'm a crippler. Cause I sure ain't no pain killer. I'm a heavy hitter. Just ask the Jews. Hail Hitler. I wrote Mein Kampf as a form of propaganda to spread throughout Germany. If you don't like it, move to Uganda. Wait, wait. Hold your applause, because I'm about to tell you about the Nuremberg Laws. Passed in 1935, the Nuremberg Laws consisted of two separate laws, the Reich Citizenship Law and the Law for the Protection of German Blood and German Honor. According to the Reich Citizenship Law, this is something I don't think you foresaw. All you Jews are a disgrace, you and your separate race. As for the Law for the Protection of German Blood and Honor, shut up and listen, or you'll be cannon fodder. If you, if you disobey this law and defile my race, watch me put you in your place. I like to hang out with Heinrich Hilmer. I like to kick back with Joseph Goebbels, but when, I when left alone, my mind turned straight to Europe and the war that I started. Britain and France both declared war on Germany. They obviously aren't faint-hearted. I suppose it's because I invaded Poland, but what did they expect? They forced my hand with those fucking 14-point stu and stupid reparations. Screw their League of Nations. Why is it so hard for me to decide which I love more, my country or winning the war? I'm not too fond of Jews, but I really hate to lose. And when I think back to myself, I'm satisfied once again. Farewell, you poor men.